what you and mom have been up to down here. Well, we took all of these milk jugs here and we've cut them in half, kind of, left that there. Uh huh. So that uh, I guess you can open it, get to the contents. What are you going to be doing with all these? And then we cut little slits in the bottom so that they drain a little bit. Oh, fancy. And then we're going to take these marigold seeds, right? Mm -hmm. That were uh, salvaged from last year. She took and dried these and now we have the seeds and we're going to put them in the jugs with some dirt and we're going to grow our own marigolds. That is so cool. Is marigolds um, <laughs> what you use like in a garden to keep the... To keep the deer and rabbits away, right? Mm -hmm. The varmints. Well, oh, is this your dirt? <laughs> Mom, what's your dirt? your pine soil. So, uh, so, am I using this? Uh, yeah. Give it a little scoop. Yeah, that's your potting soil that we mix with water. Um, just enough to like be moist, but not be drink, drippy wet. How how full am I bringing it? Um, almost to the top of that. Okay. I'll meet you to show this. We're at the farm, by the way, if you couldn't tell. In the basement. Not that mom wants me to show you the basement, but there it is. <laughs> She's gonna be like, Jessica, why'd you show them that? I always try to tell her that the basement is so cool. People actually think that it is cool. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> I said you were gonna get mad that I showed them the basement. <laughs> oh, yes. So we'll loosely fill this. Now, mom, you did these last year, but do you always do marigolds or do you do a different plant each time? Oh different plants all the time. Yeah. I have some outside that are already grown. Perfect. How did we do? Perfect. If you don't want to use that little utensil, so we can use cut one. <laughs> <Okay. my> eyes, <laughs> however you want to do it. <laughs> you can find just about anything you need down here. <laughs> so this is a playground all its own. You'll see the other jobs. Yeah. Show us. Deja May, say hellos. It is raining today. Oh. <laughs> Oh, cool! Yeah, see, they've already got flowers in them. So, what are these? These are scabiosa. Uh huh. And we'll probably plant some more of those today. And larkspur, nigella, like lots of different plants. So, once they so, kind of outgrow their little jug, you will plant them like in the ground. Yeah, yeah. This just gives them a good start. That's so it's cool. Like a little greenhouse for them. I gotta take my sweet potatoes in. They're those are sweet potatoes. Where we're growing, we're gonna grow sweet potatoes, but. They like the warmth. Yesterday was so warm, we brought them out to sit in the sun, but since it's cold and rainy, we'll yeah. take them back in. Now that we have our jugs prepared, filled with our wonderful potting soil, we're planting one dozen marigold seeds in each of them. Wow. And then... Oh wait, so you pick out 12 seeds from there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, okay. And then we're placing them in even rows inside the jugs. This is so fun! <laughs> this is so fun! And then, here's here's an example of a finished product. And then you uh, duct tape it back closed. Okay. And then you put this nice little piece of tape with what is inside of it written on it so that you remember. Planting seeds at the farm. And then how, how long is it going to be before these germinate, you suspect? I mean, it may take like a 10 days, two weeks maybe to germinate. Oh, I'd have to relook at what marigolds are to germinate. Wow, that's but, much faster than I expected. Well, we might see a little green, but they won't be ready. We don't want to plant them out to like... Um, after the first frost, so in April. We'll have a lot if all these germinate. Yeah. She said that we want to wait until they get to, like, you know how you go to the uh, home improvement store? Yeah. And you can buy the little, you know, half dozen or whatever pack. We want to wait until they get to about that size before we transfer, transplant them. Okay, so we actually came to the farm like as a surprise for my entire family because yesterday was Mama's birthday and they did like a family dinner here at the farm. And so no one knew that we were coming and we like drove from Burles Inlet and we got here like right in time for dinner. And then we walked in and it was like such a fun surprise. So we're like, let's just spend the week at home. We haven't been here in quite a few weeks, probably like a month or so. And we were kind of like missing our people. So we're gonna spend the entire week here. It's gonna be so much fun. And I walked in, I was like, mom, this is the best spring decor I have like ever seen from you 
her house is so cute wait till you see it so i told her she's gonna have to give us like an entire tour and show you guys some of the things that she's found recently because she's been going to all of these different like estate sales and she has found the best stuff y'all are gonna love it so i'll get her to share all of that this week as well all right i feel like we're on the magic school bus because i have no idea where we're going <laughs> monkeys miss frizzle and mom's taking us somewhere <laughs> <laughs> to the gas station <laughs> Very windy out today. Chevy. And tell us where we're going to eat. Going to Pfeiffer's Cafe. They have the best chicken dumplings on Wednesdays only. So. And mom said we better get here so they don't run out. Reese's peanut butter mm -hmm. cake, chocolate chip cookie. We've got butter pecan ooey gooey butter cake. Yeah, awesome. almost bought a pack of those yesterday. What's that one? This well, one. This is coconut oh, cake. Oh my goodness. And this is ooey gooey butter cake, coconut style. Y'all, this is the best little place. So the bakery is attached to the little sandwich shop, and you can come get dessert while you wait for your lunch. <laughs> So this is, this is dessert that I'm going to have after lunch since it's refrigerated. This one's going home with me. I probably <laughs> yeah. won't be able to eat this until tomorrow because I'm about to be stuck. Wow. Yeah, that looks good. Yes. Here there, Mom. Uh, Jess, you got to eat the peanut butter. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. You got to eat the peanut butter. Mom. <laughs> That's actually the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. I know it's good, but you gotta get some of the peanut butter. Okay, this is the best dessert I have literally ever tasted. Yes, perfect. It's actually the best dessert I've ever had. That is fantastic as well. Yeah. I, I just want to come here and eat desserts. Okay. Eat cake. <laughs> Okay, lunch was so good. We have tons of desserts left there. It's gonna last us for days and days, but it was such a cute little place. They have like a bakery, they have a little gift shop, like all kinds of soups and sandwiches. Very good. Dad a tractor. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. He wishes. Really just a leaf blower. Wow, that'd be nice. <laughs> well, yeah, and Mr. We'd really surprise him. I'm going to get me that ride mower I've been wanting. Yeah. <laughs> For your house? <laughs> wouldn't that be okay. funny? It'd be done in like 30 seconds. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? I feel like this is like a whole entire vlog of our week here at the farm because now it's like the next day. He and I went like a little date night last night to downtown Belmont. We went kind of late, so we had like slim pickings of where we could eat, but it was just still so nice to like go have date night and we love Belmont so much. And I'm actually headed back there right now because I'm gonna go meet the girls for lunch. I'm kind of like centrally located. So Mandy and Mackenzie are coming from this direction and then Amber's coming from this direction. And then we're gonna meet in Belmont and like get lunch and do some shopping. And I just like cannot wait, even though I just saw this them, like a week ago in Hilton Head but we never have enough time together like we can just talk 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 so anyway I'm so excited to spend some time with them today and finally the sun's coming out I know hallelujah I was so excited about that earlier it although it's so is cloudy cold but that sunshine okay. feels good I'll take some sunshine All right, so Miss Bunk has been dropped off in Belmont and she is going to have her delicious lunch with her friends. 
And I have now navigated myself to a legendary spot in Gastonia. Um, very similar to Hamburger Joe's in some ways. They are cash only, uh, but this is actually a barbecue joint. But they have an amazing cheeseburger and I have called in one. I'm going to go in and pick it up. And I'm going to show you one of the best cheeseburgers that you can get in this town. We have secured the bag. Now we're off to Sam's Club to enjoy our delicious cheeseburger solo in their parking lot. And then we're gonna go play inside Sam's. There the majestic beauty rests upon the dash. Cheese, slaw, chili, mustard, and onions await me. You might think that that little honker is small. That is actually the small cheeseburger. They have a large cheeseburger, but I wasn't feeling that ambitious. Although I can put it down. I chose to take it easy on myself today. Anyway, let's get inside that bad boy. And then I'm gonna get that bad boy inside of me. Hey, 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 buggy. What I was gonna say a moment ago when describing the uh, size of the burger, it may look compact but that thing is dense and delicious. It is hefty, it is stout, it is substantial, and it's fantastically amazing. Challenge here is gonna be eating it safely without getting food all over me and all over my hands as I'm about to go perusing the shelves of our favorite club. I'm about to go clubbing. Look at the majesty that awaits me. I mean, do you see this? Do you see this? I don't know how I'm gonna eat this without making a complete mess. I might just get out and eat it on the trunk or something. I decided to stay in the car. Oh, oh my gosh. You see how thick that burger is? It's small. This small cheeseburger. The big one? Huge. Thank you, Bunky, for going to hang out with your friends today. Because I don't mind hanging out by myself if I get to enjoy this. made it through. We're here in the club. <clears throat> Nothing's really caught my eye yet. Although they did have some Adirondack chairs at the entrance that looked pretty cool. Taking a turn down one of my favorite aisles. The laundry. All right, so, so far we have scored three things that we didn't exactly need, but I'll show you what they are. We got some blue def here for the truck. Uh, only $13.98, best price around. I also saw this shirt over in the men's clothing section. Wasn't a whole lot to choose from over there that struck my eye, but that thing is so soft. I cannot wait. And then we got some microfiber towels for uh, polishing up Sunny and vehicles and other general uses around the home. I don't know if y'all can see me well right now or hear me, but I am just really tempted to buy these glass bottle Coca-Colas that are the made in Mexico version. Um, hear a lot of good things about them, had them before, very tempted to get them. I 
blame this. I'm going to Kyle's. Gaston, you got the best of me. 24 sun drops, baby. Go Dale. A healthier soda. Poppy. No explanation for this. No explanation for these either. Other than the price was nice. Avocados. Already seen those. This shirt is going to be awesome. 190 Hershey egg shaped chocolate deliciousness. 35 DCs. I'll share more on this one in a moment. Croissants. The old blue deaf here. Son-in-law status unlocked and achieved numero uno. 